I'm looking for a neighborhood with some hot girls who are playing or walking around so that the men on my channel can get pleasure. Someone left a comment uh, a few weeks ago and they, uh, they said, I recommend that you should walk to some neighborhood where hot girls are playing or walking around so that they can be captured in the video and we men can watch joyfully. Isn't that a great comment? A great suggestion. Thank you so much for the, just a great suggestion. You know, half the, half my subscribers are men and uh, very important that men get pleasure. So I'm just looking around here for a neighborhood where, you know, if you guys ask me something, I want to, I want to deliver, right? I want to deliver the goods. So I'm just, you know, that was a good request. So I'm now I'm looking for a neighborhood where I can find some hot girls who are playing or maybe just walking around, you know, so that they can be captured in my video. So I'm just, oh. Uh, no, don't see any hot girls there. Hmm. Well, welcome to another vocabulary walk, guys. In these vocabulary walks, I just walk around with my camera and uh, take some random shots of stuff and teach you vocabulary. So today we're shooting on the Olympus EM10 Mark III, four. Which mark is it? It's not this mark. I'm Mark. I'm a better mark than this. I think it's the mark. Does it say anywhere? I don't know. I think it's the Mark IV. The Mark IV with the um, the Olympus 45 millimeter f 1.8 lens. So that's uh, that's what we're shooting on today. Oh, look at this nice neighborhood. I don't see any hot girls yet. Hmm. They have to be playing or walking around. That was the request. So we're just gonna go on a hunt today. We're, we are going hunting, my friends. So what's the first, what's the first vocabulary? That's, uh, that's important, right? The first word, what should the first word be that I teach you guys today? Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for always joining me on these vocabulary walks. Oh, I see a, a dandelion. Maybe that should be the first one, okay? So see that flower there? Come on, focus. Oh, stupid camera. Focus on the dandelion. Okay, we got it. I'll show you in this camera too. So those little yellow flowers that grow all over the place here in Canada. Those are called dandy lines. Dandy lines. It's one word. I don't know why I said it so slowly. Like two words. Dandy. Although dandy is another word. Okay, dandy is a word. Dandy means, um, you know, dandy. Just, uh, you know, nice and it's dandy. What does dandy mean? I think dandy means like, it's just good. It's great. Dandy. It's just, if I'm doing fine and dandy, I'm doing dandy. Do people say that? I'm doing dandy. I think so. I think it means, it just means <laughs> good, good. Right, this truck is dandy. Right, look at that dandy truck. It means it's a good truck. So you could say a dandy, dandy line. Let's see if I can find a, uh, ooh, look at this. We found one, guys. I found a dandy, dandy line. Wow, didn't expect to be teaching you two dandies today. But uh, you know, with these vocabulary walks, you never know what's gonna, what's gonna turn up. I just, just walking around completely off the cuff. Remember, off the cuff means uh, unprepared, unplanned. Just walking around making, well, trying to teach you guys vocabulary. So it's called, uh, what's this? says do not stop here so you can't stop here this is called a post okay it's called a signpost or a pole 
yeah you could call it a pole see that one over there that is a street light a street light oh well i mean the lights up there the whole thing is kind of called a street light but the, that, that could be called the pole the street light po post or the pole yeah you know sometimes in english you have you have some different options you're not just limited to one one selection one choice right you, you can have you can sort of play around with the language a bit have fun you know you could choose if you want to use the word pole or post so wow look at look at this car guys isn't that a beast this kind of vehicle is called a station wagon okay a station wagon is a long car uh, like with a hatchback okay this kind of a back on a vehicle is called a hatchback let's see do um can i find a normal hatchback yeah like uh this one over here we just walked past this this pt cruiser is this a pt cruiser mm, what is this uh i don't know what 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 kind of vehicle this is uh Chevy PT is that a PT Cruiser? I don't know. I thought it was a PT Cruiser. Anyway, so that's I don't know what kind of car that. That's a weird looking car. That's not a station wagon, but it's like a hatch. Any kind of car that doesn't have a trunk is called a hatchback. Okay, so if it has a trunk, then it's like a sedan. You know, like a like this this silver one up here coming up here. Okay, that's just like a normal sedan. It's not a hatchback, but it probably comes in a hatchback. What is this? Uh, Mazda 3? So yeah, so, so this is a normal trunk, right? It has a trunk. But if it would just have a hatchback, then it would just be called a hatchback. So this one, okay, this kind of a vehicle is called a station wagon. Okay, a station wagon. Yeah, so uh, it's kind of cool. Would, how would you like to own a station wagon? Boy, that would be sweet. Maybe I should buy a... I should sell my red SUV and buy a station wagon. What would you guys think about that idea? That would be awesome. What does this sign say here? Let's look at another signpost, all right? It says, please leash and clean up after your dog. It's the law. Okay, animal control bylaw. A bylaw is like a... It's like a law for like an area, okay, um, or for like a, a condo building. If you live in a condo building, right, the condo building will have bylaws. So, you know, maybe you can't, uh, you can't, for example, hang your laundry on your balcony because then that looks bad and the building sort of looks a bit bad, right? That's a, called a bylaw. It's not like a real law. It's not a law where the police are going to come and put you in jail, right? Um, hey, look at these dandelions. Man, we found some great dandy dandelions. I know these white, I don't know what these kind of white ones are called. You know what, I better take a picture. This is a vocabulary walk, not a, not a go. You know, I'm supposed to be using this camera. I've got my GoPro here and uh, should probably take a picture of these nice white flowers. Oh, it's nice. Okay, got a good shot there. So yeah, a bylaw is uh, is just a sort of a, a law for a, cer a certain area. So for example, that sign that it said, you know, pick up after your dog. That means pick up your dog poop. It's the by it's a bylaw. So there would be a fine. Um, did that sign say how much the fine would be? I don't know. I, I don't know what the consequence is like. Uh, you know maybe you get charged like 200 bucks or something if you get caught not picking up after your dog uh so, so that's the bylaw you're not gonna go to jail at least i don't think i don't think you're gonna go to jail wow look at this dodge ram longhorn 1500 isn't that a sweet truck would you rather have a dodge ram or a ford f1 Oh, this is a 350. Whoa, super duty Ford F350. Guys, these people, these people mean business. A 350, not just a 150. If I were to buy a truck, I'd probably just buy a 150. I'm not that heavy duty. I'm just a lightweight YouTuber. Closing in on, what do we have now? Half a million subscribers, not, not there yet. But uh, so I'm not, I'm not a heavyweight 
can't buy a super duty Ford yet. And uh, there's a van, that kind of vehicle is called a van, a minivan or just a van. Whoa, guys, here's another 3500 3, Duramax, whatever kind of truck that is with a back, a, a hard shell. What's that called? A hard shell back. See, it's not an SUV, right? An SUV is where, uh, is where like the inside is all connected right so you can see there there's it's not connected that's actually the that's actually the the, the bed that covering on the bed i think it's a hard um no what's it called a covering or a hard sh hard top shell i don't know i don't know anything about trucks so i shouldn't talk about <laughs> maybe i'll look it up and see what the right word is for that but uh Looks like this is some sort of a gated community. Okay, a community like this is uh, is called a gated community, all right? So you can see there are houses in there, but you can't go in, right? Because there's a gate. So probably rich people live there, right? Rich people don't like mingling with poor people. Mingling means sort of mixing, right? They don't like uh, mixing. So, so this is a hatchback, small little hatchback car. Look at these houses, they're pretty big houses, right? Oh, here's another gated community. Yeah, so these people are, I would say very well, well to do. Well to do means rich, pretty, pretty rich, like upper middle class to, to, to upper class. I was, yeah, middle to upper class, probably. Uh, yeah, and these houses are all, these houses are all at least a uh, couple mil, couple mil. Mill means million dollars. So these houses are all at least at least two million, maybe five million dollars. So, well, guys, I'm not there yet. Can't afford one of these guys. I uh, bought my house back in Calgary, so I was not anywhere close to uh, my house in Calgary was or just over two hundred thousand, two hundred and uh, it was under two hundred and fifty thousand. So, uh, so yeah, that was my house in Calgary. In Calgary, houses are really cheap. I mean, comparatively to other places in Canada, if you go to Toronto, Vancouver, other places, I mean, you're gonna get away with much, much cheaper. So yeah, my house in, in Calgary was, two, uh, was under 250,000. I think uh, I, I had some upgrades. I could choose some upgrades or whatever. I think the base price was 230, 230,000. But uh, then I upgraded a bit of this and that, so I think it came to like 235 or 240 or something like that. So that's my house in Calgary, but these ones, man, yeah, these ones would go for a couple mil for sure. Yeah, so mil means million. Ooh, I see a majestic mountain. Look at that, majestic. maybe I can get a shot of it here. It's uh, kind of through those trees there. Yeah, that looks like nice. Do you know what the word majestic means? Majestic means really awesome. Like we, we use a word for, if, if something is big, big and just just uh, really awesome, it's like majestic. You know, so you can describe a mountain as majestic, all right? Yeah, so we're probably about, uh, you can see it's a sunny day today, eh? A we Canadians like to say A sometimes. So yeah, this is just sort of a peaceful area. I was in a neighborhood. I don't know if this is really a neighborhood. There's a the playground over there, a street there. Yeah, I'm looking for a, those trees are, those big trees are blocking my view of the, of the majestic mountain. So. Yeah, you can see here the, the trees are budding. The budding, budding means like, uh, you know, the leaves or the blossoms are coming out on the trees. So you can see here the leaves are budding. Uh, let's see if I can get a, can you see, oh, I see a low, I think I see a low lying branch coming up here on one of these trees. See these branches here are not low lying. I can't reach them, right? I wanna show you close up with my camera. So I'm looking for a low-lying branch. A low-lying branch. That means just a branch that's kind of low. Kind of low where I can, I can grab it or I can at least take a picture of it. So yeah, we're coming up to a low-lying branch that is just budding. The leaves are 
starting to to bud look at that there's a low-lying branch right there isn't that awesome there's a nice bright sun there about uh it's the time now five six o'clock i don't know probably a couple hours out from an hour out from sunset one or two hours out from sunset so yeah it'd be great maybe catch a sunset but i think my gopro battery will die before uh <laughs> before i catch the the sunset but uh yeah just thought i'd be able to get a shot of that mountain no it, mountain disappeared but um look at this nice stone wall isn't that awesome it's kind of a cool cool wall here and uh what kind of tree is this up here this kind of a tree it it looks like uh this is like a juniper yeah this is like a, a juniper tree guys you can see that kind of uh that kind of evergreen it's not a pine tree it's a juniper tree there's a purulator truck delivering some mail did you send me something send me something nice or should i maybe i'll go into this park here it looks like a nice a little nice walking area all right well yeah welcome to uh just a random walking around hanging out with you guys kind of video yeah, so this kind of a, trees that stay green all year round are called evergreen trees. So there are like pine trees, um, you know, juniper trees. What other kind of evergreen trees are there? Look at this. It says recycling, garbage, dog waste. Hmm. So that's where you can put your dog waste so you don't get the, the bylaw fine or you don't break the bylaw. You know, look at that nice path sort of going through the trees there. Looks like this co coming up here is some sort of community garden. Isn't that awesome? Maybe it's a... Is this private land? I don't know. But uh, let's go check out this community garden. You know, I, you, we don't have a lot of these in Canada. I think they're becoming more popular. In Germany, I remember seeing a lot of these community gardens. I always thought that's kind of a cool... Kind of a cool idea. But yeah, in Canada... Sometimes, uh, sometimes condo buildings will have like a community garden area, but, but most of the time, I don't know, I, I don't see too many of these here. So yeah, I think like see each, each one of these plots, you can call that like a, a plot, right? Someone, oh, I guess someone owns that or rents that. So they're growing some stuff there. This person doesn't look like he's a very successful farmer. That person's growing weeds. Look at that. Let me take a picture of that guy's weeds. What a useless farmer that is. Look at that guy's weeds. What a <laughs> crazy guy. Gets a plot of land, plants some weeds. Oh, wouldn't that be sweet to plant a, a plot full of dandy dandelions? <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, so that's kind of a cool, uh, I don't know, just a cool community garden there and we've got some nice grass big grassy area an area like this can be called a grassy area just an open grassy area and uh oh there we go there's a kind of oh there's still another tree blocking that mountain how can i get a shot of that majestic mountain guys hmm and now that house is blocking. Now let me just walk a little bit over here and uh, we will get ourselves a money shot. Money means a good, a, a good, if you say something is money, that means it's good. Okay, look at that. Did that focus right? I don't know. Okay, so if something is a money, if adjective is, uh, sorry, if, if the word money is used as an adjective, that's like a good thing, you know, like I could say, I'm going to get a money shot. Look at these like bushes here. What kind of a bush? These are kind of just called like bushes, it's like a bush, right? Not a tree, sort of a bush. Actually, I was going to teach you guys the word shrub. I'll, I'm going to keep a lookout for the word shrub. Like, you know, the juniper trees that I uh, just showed you, there are also uh, juniper shrubs. I'm looking for, let's see if, uh, 
I'll keep my eye out for a shrub. Basically a shrub is just a sort of a bush. Yeah, just another word for a bush. Look at that there, guys. This is a slide. A slide and a, a bench. You know what a bench is. I don't have to teach you what a bench is. What's this thing? Hello? Anybody hear me? Can you hear me? I wonder if this goes into the ground and out on that one. What do you think? I don't know. I have no idea what that is. Some sort of a thing. I think maybe kids can talk into there and uh, I think they can hear it. They can hear it out of here. I'm not sure. What do you think? Your guess is as good as mine. If you're not sure, it, you can say your guess is as good as mine. Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, but what those things are, I don't know. So uh, here are some swings. Look at that. There's a, like a normal swing and a toddler swing or a baby swing. I don't know what, what that's called. I would call it uh, maybe, a, maybe a baby swing. Toddler. A toddler is like a, a big baby, you know, maybe... Uh, two years old, I'd say a toddler is around two years old, a baby or an infant. Infant, yeah, an infant is a, is a baby, yeah. Hey, look at this, this is a baseball diamond, is this a, is this a baseball diamond? Yeah, look guys, let's go into the baseball diamond. Wow, look at there's some bleachers, right there. Those things are called bleachers. That's where people sit and watch the you know, the fans, that's the spectators sit there, right? Those are called bleachers. Okay, and this is a bench. Actually, this is the dugout. Okay, so in baseball, right? In, in baseball, this is, the, this is called the diamond. So we have the baseball field, right? We've got the big baseball field. This part here, this sort of like sand or gravel part here, is the baseball diamond. Okay, and then this is where the players sit in here. This is called the dugout. Okay, the base, the dug, the baseball dugout, right? And here are the the baseball bleachers. So this is where the fans sit, and that's the other team's dugout there, right? So one team sits over there, another team sits over here. Now let's look at home plate. All right, see this here. This is called home plate. So you, the batter stands here, right? The batter hits the ball, and then uh, the batter has to run over here to first let's see if we can find first base is actually not a plate it's a bag so that's why i don't think we're gonna find uh first base first base would be somewhere over here yeah so yeah it's a bag the only one in baseball that's a plate is home plate so there's a little bit of baseball terminology terminology means vocabulary Hey, I could call this a terminology walk. What do you think? Should I change the name of these videos to uh, terminology walk instead of a vocabulary walk? That'd be all right. You can learn some new terminology terms, some new terms, right? So look at this fence. Wow, that's a big fence. I guess for the baseball, I guess they don't want the, yeah, the baseballs to fly over, fly over this fence. Look at these cool purple flowers. That's cool. Yeah, it's such a gorgeous evening. Glorious. This is a glorious evening out here. So, I wish you guys could join me. Just walking. It's a, it's nice. It's perfect. It's this perfect weather, guys. Perfect April end of, I uh, know, middle of, what day is it today? April 17th, I think, or 20th? Sometime in the mid to end of April. I don't know. So, yeah, nice uh, sun poking out through those trees. Oh, someone's got a campfire down there, guys. Look at that. Sounds like maybe camping there or... I don't know. So, let's see if we can find some plants. Oh, is this holly? Look at that. I think that's holly, guys. Uh, yeah, remember the Christmas song, Deck the Halls with... Deck the halls with boughs. Is it boughs or balls? Balls of the boughs. Deck the halls with deck the hall with boughs of holly. Right? A holly. Holly is like that that stuff. 
Um, and then with like the red berries, isn't that what the, um, what's that called? Where you kiss under the mistletoe, oh, that's mistletoe. Is mistletoe holly? What is mistletoe? Is mistletoe the name of a plant? Boy, I don't know. See, that's the nice thing about these vocabulary walks. I don't try to, I don't try to, don't try to, you know, fake anything with you guys. I just tell you honestly, you can see my thought process, you know, and um, if I don't know something, I'll just tell you, right? So you could see here, I was having, I was having a bit of difficulty sort of thinking about what is what is mistletoe you know at christmas time people hang like a mistletoe and uh is like mistletoe the name of a plant or or holly holly i don't know you can see sometimes even native english speakers struggle with words and uh especially with like plants i mean who nobody's an expert at everything i i don't know much about plants so i'm not an expert if you're a plant expert let me know what's the difference between holly and mistletoe what is a mistletoe made out of i don't know but uh yeah i guess uh, i'm hoping to get back to civilization here so i can keep doing this um neighborhood vocabulary walk not so much a nature vocabulary walk and i'm still looking for a shrub a juniper shrub i'll keep my eyes peeled to keep your eyes peeled means keep your eyes looking right you could say uh you know if you're looking for uh i don't know if you're looking for a bad guy right you know you could say keep your eyes peeled for you know for uh a guy wearing a red hat he's he stole my he stole my wallet keep your eyes peeled keep your eyes peeled you know for that so it's one meaning of peel, another one is to peel a banana, right? You can, I see you can say, I peeled a banana. <laughs> what, a, what a crazy language English is. You can keep your eyes peeled, or you can peel. There's probably more meanings for the, for the word peel. Let me know if you know any more meanings for... Huh, it looks like we're back in uh, nature again, but I think I see some houses up here. Yeah, I don't know where I am, but there's a nice bridge here. Let's go across this bridge. I wonder if there's a troll living under this bridge. Remember that, uh, what is that, uh, nursery rhyme? Or is it a, f a fable, Aesop's fable? The troll living under the bridge? Man, forgot everything about my childhood. What's the story about the troll living under the bridge? Billy Goat's Gruff? The Billy Goat Gruff? Three Billy Goats Gruff? Is that, is that what it is? I don't know, I'll have to look it up when I go home. Three Billy Goats Gruff. Somehow that rings a bell in my mind. Three Billy Goats Gruff. But I don't even remember the... I don't even really remember what that story is about, so... Oh wow, look at that nice house, guys. Now I'm walking in, a, in the dark forest again. Look at the size of these trees. I think that's pretty big, right? You can see compared to me, you know, if I'm like, if I'm like against one of these trees, man, that's uh, pretty big. Not the biggest, not as big as the those giant, um, the redwood for giant redwood, the redwoods. Yeah, those are those are huge, but uh, these are these are pretty big too. So I'll just give you a little view of where I'm going here. Yeah, this isn't uh, turning out to be a very, very effective vocabulary walk. What's the difference between effective and efficient? Do you know what's the difference between those words? Well, when you hear the word effective, you should think about the result, okay? When you hear the word efficient, you should think about the process. Okay, so um, if something is effective, that means it gets done, right? So if I'm trying to, uh, let's say I'm trying to cut down a tree, right? These are, these are some trees here that have been cut down. If I manage to succeed in cutting down the tree, then it was, effect it was effective, right? My method was effective. It might not have been efficient. Efficient means like the best use of energy, right? So I don't know how these people cut it down, probably with a chainsaw or something like that. 
So let's say a person used a chainsaw, right? You know what a chainsaw is, right? Like an electric, electric saw, basically. Cut it down, right? It would take a take like a few minutes. But imagine if you if that would be effective and efficient, right? Because it would only take a few minutes. But imagine if you tried to use like a handsaw to cut down one of these trees. Well, it would be effective after the tree got toppled, right? If a tree gets cut down, it gets it gets like toppled, right? It gets cut down. So yeah, if you used a handsaw, it would be effective, but it wouldn't be efficient because you're using all your energy, right? It's better to just use a, uh, a chainsaw to cut through it in a few seconds, right? So that's the difference between effective and efficient. When you hear effective, think about the, the end result. And when you think about efficient, think about your energy, the best use of of your time, the best use of your, your resources, right? So here's your little uh, English grammar or English uh, terminology, little mini lesson inside a lesson. Hey, it's a lesson inside a lesson right there for you. So this is uh, again, it's like these communities are like nestled in. I, well, actually, these are probably the gated communities. That's why I can't get in here. Because see, look at these. I mean, you can see the fence goes all the way around here, right? The paths, the paths go like around the community. They don't go like into the community. So yeah, I think these are the gated. I picked the wrong, I think I picked the wrong neighborhood to go walking in, guys. I'm just like sort of uh, walking around the periphery of these communities the periphery means like the outside right the periphery like your peripheral vision right if I'm looking there I can still see my finger in my peripheral vision right so this part of my eyesight here is called that's my side vision right it's my it's called my peripheral vision okay so I can still see my hand I'm looking at you but I can still see my hand here in my peripheral vision so this path is sort of winding its way around the periphery of this community so yeah it's just on the outs it's sort of on the outside right on the edge it's on the edge of this guys i'm out of breath all this english teaching and walking it's too much work you better give me a raise Give me a raise, boss. I need more money so I can buy one of these multi-million dollar houses here. Boy, wouldn't that be something? It's a little YouTuber buying a multi-million dollar house. That would be sweet. Boy, that would be awesome. First, I have to pay off my mortgage. Pay off my 200 and... I don't know. I don't know how much debt I have, but... Pay off that first mortgage. And then pay off the uh, second multi-million dollar mortgage. I would be so. Are you rich? If you're rich, you should consider sending me some money. Look at these nice flowers, guys. Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? There's just a little one budding there. I'll take a picture. This deserves a picture. Hmm, I think this lens has a minimum focus distance can't look at that it's not focusing where I want it why is that not focusing where I want it ah oh, man this is why people don't use real cameras anymore people just use cell phones because cell phones just work you know do you have a real camera real cameras are going the way of the dodo you never see these anymore you rarely see people walking around with these things anymore, you know. Going the way of the dodo means it's uh, going extinct. Just a few years. Nobody's going to be using cameras like this. Just going to be using their phones. This kind, of a, this kind of a plant is called a hedge. Okay, see this? Actually, this is, is, uh, is kind of juniper. Looks like sort of a... Yeah, it sort of has that... Um, I don't, like I said, I'm not a plant expert, but... So if, if it's like this kind of a thing where people trim, it's like a wall, right? It's serving as a wall, 
or some kind of a barrier or whatever. So that's just, this is called a hedge. It's not a bush. I mean, you could probably call it a kind of call it a bush, but yeah, it's a, it's a hedge. Let's see if um, okay. See, this is sort of like a this would be more of like a bush here, right? Bush is sort of like a small little tree with some leaves or I don't know. What are these things here? Some kind of a bud. Oh, hey guys, we're back at the same place. <laughs> what do you know about that? We're back here at the same station wagon. I thought it was in a new community. <laughs> Great. We're back at the same spot. Ah, fudge. Fudge. Fudge just means like, uh, it's actually a euphemism. I think, is that the right word? A euphemism. A euphemism is like a word. Oh, look at these nice leaves. I thought they were flowers at first, but it's just leaves. I think a euphemism is like something you say instead of, uh, instead of an expletive. Is that right? An expletive is like a swear word, right? If you say the F word, that's a swear word. That's called an expletive. Right, so so you know it's not polite, typically in uh, in English to use a lot of expletives. You know, especially in formal situations, I use expletives sometimes. It's not a big deal if you use expletives, but you know, in formal situations, you should uh, should be careful not to use too many expletives, or actually any. You should not use any expletives. Um, I think a euphemism. I could be wrong. Again, you can see me sort of sometimes struggling to know the meanings of words. A euphemism. My nose is itchy. It's itching. I'm scratching my nose with my camera. So yeah, a euphemism, I think, is a, is a word that's like... I think if... Remember, remember a few years ago I made a... I made a video called Swear Word Substitutes where... Uh, you know, where words that people say instead of swear words. Well, one of those is fudge, right? So if you are unhappy about something, like I was, I could say, you could say fudge, fudge. Well, guys, we're back where we started and um, still haven't found a neighborhood with some hot girls who are playing. I'm really sorry about that. I want to uh, apologize. What does the sign say here? No trespassing, private property. Right, trespassing means to go on someone else's property. So, uh, can't trespass. Can't trespass on that property, I guess. But, um, yeah, so I want to apologize to all the men out there for not giving you enough pleasure in this video. As uh, the YouTuber, or the whatever, the comment, the, the comment, the YouTube comment asked me to do. So I failed, you know. I failed my mission. I failed my mandate. The word mandate means like you're given something to do, right? That person commented, they gave me a mandate. They said, Mark, find, find a community or neighborhood with some, <clears throat> with some, some hot girls, right? So that I can get, he was saying, so that I can get pleasure, right? That was his mandate. I failed the mandate. So that means I'm incompetent. I'm incompetent. Incompetent means you just, you, you didn't do the job. You didn't, you didn't do it. You, 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 you're not good at it, you know? If someone's incompetent, that means they just can't do the job, right? If someone's competent, that's a good thing. Are you competent? What do you think? Am I a competent English teacher? Am I a competent YouTuber? Am I a competent human being? Can I get the job done? Or do I always just fail, you know? I don't know, hopefully I'm competent. Let me know your assessment of me down in the comments if I'm, if I'm competent. But today I failed, so I'm incompetent, right? Incompetent is, ba is bad. It's the opposite of competent. So are you incompetent or are you competent? Hey, smash like while you're down there, leaving a comment, leave me a like. Be a competent subscriber and leave me a like. 
So I want to apologize to all the men for being incompetent, for letting you down, for giving you no pleasure in this video. I had some pleasure. I love hanging out with you guys, you know. That always gives me some... Oh, guys, look at these yellow flowers. Aren't those amazing? Remember, I think Easter Day I posted a picture of one of these flowers on uh, on my Instagram. Hey, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should, uh, should become one of my followers. Just search for Mad English TV and... Uh, you know, I see some cherry blossoms over there. Should I take you guys to the cherry blossoms? Man, that deserves a like right there. Look at that, just beautiful nature. What do you think, guys? Beautiful blossoms. Well, I'm kind of, don't even know where, where I'm going here, guys. So maybe I should just wrap this up already been going for about an hour I think that's good enough for now hey guys I found a I found a shrub found one of these juniper juniper shrubs okay so this is what this is what I'm talking about here okay like a shrub so a shrub is like a small bush and you know when I think of the word shrub I almost think of like um, like a dry bush I don't know where I don't know if that's actually technically part of the meaning of the word, but when I think of a shrub, sort of like a small bush that's a, like dry. Okay, so look at this bush, it's kind of dry, right? You could call that a shrub. Or there's like a, sort of a shrub, a shrub. Yeah, so you can see here, here's the juniper trees, okay? See that nice uh, stuff there? And this stuff is almost the exact same thing, right? You can see it's uh, maybe a little bit different, but, but for the most part it's, uh, the same so uh well that's it for this we found our shrub i found my shrub i'll end this off on a high note i'll end it on a high note that means something good happened right so that means i just want to end it i don't want to keep talking and then maybe the video will go down 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 i don't want to end it on a low note i want to end it on a high note do you like ending things on a high note or a low note Hopefully on a high note. Man, here's some more blossoms. Wow. It's another high note to end the video on. So I just want to say I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Sticking with me till the end. Almost uh, an hour here. So, hope you learned some words. I hope you uh, enjoyed this sort of random vocabulary walk. I don't think I took very many good pictures, but uh, you win some, you lose some, right? You win some, you lose some. Just means uh, sometimes things go good, sometimes things go bad, right? You win some, you lose some. I found the shrub, I won that. Didn't get very many good pictures, lost that. You win some, you lose some. So, I'll bid you guys farewell. Have a great day wherever you are, and I will see you over in the next episode. Is my camera still going?